I want to drop this in this house. You know what? The Bible says this. The whole law, the Bible, sits on the hinges of love. The whole Bible. Oh. Listen, y'all. You got to get the importance of it. The love of God is so important that God says the whole law, the whole the entire life, the, the entire law of God sits on two principles. He says, you know what the hinge is? As heavy as these doors are around this church, amen, most times it's three, sometimes two. A hinge is what keeps all of that weight. That's amazing. But all of that weight, amen, is held up and carried by three hinges. But God talks about two hinges. It holds the whole Bible up. Two hinges. The hinges of God. The hinges of God are the love for him and the love for man. The Bible says the love of God is held. The, the, the whole principle, everything we do in church, everything we talk, everything spiritual is held up by two laws. He says that you love me with all your heart, your mind, soul, strength. You love God. He said, but not only that, he says, but that you love your neighbor as yourself. I said that because you need to know the importance of the love of God. That's why the world would be better if we ever get the love of God in our hearts. The, the, you, know, you know why the world is getting worse? It's because the Bible already said the love of men. That's what it says. His, the love of men will wax cold. That, thanks. That's how come the world is getting worse. Because men are not loving each other. That's why gangbangers are shooting people in the head. Don't care. The young boy uh, 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 the other week, man, shot him in the head while his, while his five-year-old son was sitting in the back seat. Didn't care. What made you so mad? In this case, the, the young man was envious. The boy was helping uh, his girlfriend with the son, with the boy's son. And he got envious. You know, just do for him. You ain't got to be envious. Just take care of your son. But then when somebody wants to help him, then all of a sudden something wrong with it. Amen. What makes you that mad where you, you don't have no consciousness? I just walk up and put a gun to your head. Instead of us talking it out and working it out, I shoot you in the head. That's pure evil. Because the love of God says, I'm not going to, even though, I, no matter how mad I am at you, I'm not going to take you from your five year old son. Now that, that, that boy, amen, doesn't have a father. That boy's traumatic. That's a traumatic experience to have to watch his father get his brains blew out. And watch his father. Yes, thank you for saying that. Not only did he watch the young man die, but he watched his father do it. His father blew the young man's brains out. He was not with his father. He was with another young man who was dating his mother. And he became envious because the young man was doing more for his son than he was. So not only did he watch the young man get his brains blow out, but it was the father. His own father killed his potential stepfather. Y'all hear me? So he potentially lost two fathers at one time. My whole point is not to freak you out with that, but my whole point, amen, my whole point, amen, amen, he just, he just, he all right, amen. But my whole point is that there was no love in that young man. The Bible says the, the love of men will wax cold. It's happening from our White House down. 